Welcome to the Moon. Well, almost. Welcome to the Moon is a flip and write game with 8 adventures which can be played independently or successively in a campaign mode. Welcome to the Moon has standard rules that apply to all the adventures and also specific rules for each of them. Let's start with the standard rules. Shuffle the starship cards and split them into three draw piles of 21 cards, number face up. Each player takes an adventure sheet and a dry erase marker. For the missions, follow the campaign book or else, if you don't play in a campaign, take the mission cards A, B and C of that particular adventure. Each turn is made up of five phases. One. Flip three starship cards. At the beginning of each turn, the top card of each draw pile is flipped and placed in front of its pile, action face up. You get three new number action combination. When the draw piles are empty, shuffle the discard piles separately in order to create three new draw piles. 2. Pick and write down a number. Every player picks simultaneously and individually one of the three available combinations, which can be the same as another player or not. You must write down the number of the combination you picked in an empty space of the marking area of your adventure sheet. The spaces are grouped into different zones depending on the adventure you are playing. In each zone, the numbers must be placed in ascending order from the lowest number to the highest number. A number can never appear twice in the same zone. In a zone, you can leave as many empty spaces as you wish between two numbered spaces, then fill them later on as long as you keep respecting the ascending order. Likewise, you can skip some numbers, for instance, put an 8 just after a 6. If you can write down a number, you must do it. If not, then you must cross off one system error box and you cannot perform any action this turn. 3. Use the action. Once your number is written down, you can, but you don't have to, use the action of the combination. You will perform the same 6 actions in all adventures, but in different ways depending on the adventure you're playing. Here is the general description for each action. The robot action allows you to connect, build or explore different parts. The water and plant actions allow you to collect resources and earn points, but only if you write the number in specific spaces. Energy action allows you to improve other actions or their value. The astronaut action allows you to modify the value of the number of the chosen combination before you write it down by adding or subtracting 0, 1 or 2. The planning action allows you to fill in an additional space with an X on the same turn beside the space in which you have written down the number of your combination. The spaces filled up with an X are also considered numbered spaces. 4. Incidents After performing an action, there could possibly be an incident phase. The effects or consequences that can be triggered during the different adventures are resolved at this moment. Accomplish a mission. The three mission cards are objectives that have been given to you by the Human Alliance. The first players to fulfill during the same turn the requirements of the mission can accomplish it. They write the highest value of the mission card in the corresponding A, B or C space on their sheet. Then the mission card is flipped on the mission accomplished side. From now on, those who accomplish a mission in a future turn will only get its lowest value. You can only accomplish each of the three missions once during the game. When you have accomplished a mission, you keep the points you earned, even if you do not meet the requirements anymore later on. Apart from specific endgame conditions specified in the adventure rules, the game ends if one of the players has accomplished all three missions or crossed off all the system error boxes or filled in all the spaces of the marking area. If you wish to play in a campaign mode and you do not want to have the story spoiled, stop this video and go back to it when the campaign will tell you to.
Adventure 7 The Escape The evacuation was carried out rather successfully. Luckily we had planned to leave anyway. But we must rush this exit and the new starships are not ready yet. Moreover, due to the emergency, they are stacked horizontally above the domes, making most of them inaccessible. The sheet shows six starships connected by inactive airlocks, except for the first two. The starships are stacked horizontally, and each starship is an independent zone that must be numbered in ascending order from left to right. Each starship has two or three modules, with several spaces each, as well as one greenhouse for the plants. The modules, the greenhouses and the starships are connected to each other by airlocks. The problem is that these airlocks are not activated. You can only number a module or a greenhouse after having activated an airlock that gives access to it. At the beginning of the game, you can only access the two modules of the lowest starship. You can write down numbers only in the spaces of these two modules. The robot bonus. Whenever you write down a number in a space with a robot symbol, you get a robot bonus that you must immediately use by activating an airlock. This robot bonus does not replace the action of your combination. The greenhouse's times two bonus. The first players to write down a number in a greenhouse can circle the times two bonus of this greenhouse. The other players must immediately cross off the times two bonus of this greenhouse on their sheet and will not be able to get it. System error. If you have to cross off a system error box, the first two give you a compensation and allow you to immediately activate an airlock. Robot action. With this action, you can activate an airlock. For that purpose, draw a line on an airlock between two modules or between a module and a greenhouse. You can activate an airlock only if it is connected to an already connected module or a greenhouse. That way, you will access new modules, greenhouses and starships so that you can number them. Do not forget that each starship is a zone that must be numbered in ascending order. The airlocks, activated or not, do not change the numbering constraint of these domes. Water action. If you have written down the number of your combination in a space with a water tank, then you can circle that water tank. Plant action. You can circle a plant in a greenhouse in the same starship in which you have written down the number of your combination. You can circle a plant in a greenhouse even though it is not yet connected with an airlock. Energy action. Fire the reactors. With this action, you can circle a reactor at the end of the same starship in which you have written down the number of your combination. Planning action. The planning action allows you to fill in an accessible space with an X in addition to the number of your combination. Moreover, you must immediately cross off the box with the lowest value available in the planning scoring area. Astronaut action. The astronaut action allows you to modify the value of the number of the chosen combination before you write it down. Minus 2, minus 1, 0, plus 1, plus 2. Moreover, cross off one astronaut symbol on the right side of your sheet. Whenever you have two crossed off astronaut symbol, circle a wild action symbol. Wild action. You can use a circled wild action symbol whenever you want. To use it, cross it off, then use any of the six possible actions instead of the one from your number action combination. At the end of the game, in addition to points earned for accomplished missions and penalty points lost for system errors, tally up your points in each scoring area as follows. The greenhouses. Write down the score of each numbered greenhouse in the corresponding starship scoring space. A greenhouse earns you two points with one circled plant, four points with two circled plants, seven points with three circled plants. If you have circled its times two bonus, the value of the greenhouse is doubled. You do not earn any points for a greenhouse without a number or without any circled plant. The modules. For each starship, write down the cumulative value of the modules that form it. For each starship, a fully numbered module earns you two points with one circled reactor, four points with two circled reactors, seven points with three circled reactors. If you have circled its water tank, the value of the module is doubled. You do not earn any points for a starship with no circled reactor, nor a module that is not fully numbered. Planning 
subtract the lowest visible value in the planning scoring area. 